Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, let's see Ansible Dynamic Inventory. Ansible deals with a static inventory where we manually make entries into an inventory file and uh, Ansible recognizes those nodes when we uh, configure them. And other one is Dynamic Inventory. Dynamic Inventory is important if our uh, virtual machines are in cloud. And especially when those virtual machines in cloud is under auto scaling. Because of auto scaling, the EC2 instances in Amazon or a virtual machines in Azure, uh, these machines are dynamically launched and dynamically terminated. So the IP addresses will keep changing always. It's difficult to keep track of uh, those IP addresses using static inventory. That's the reason we need a dynamic inventory. Ansible uses a Python script for dynamic inventory. This Python script uh, talks to cloud. If it is Amazon Web Services, it talks to AWS and uh, it will fetch the EC2 instance details. And we can run our Ansible playbooks or uh, Ansible commands on those EC2 instances. Okay, let's go ahead and see a demonstration of uh, setting up Ansible Dynamic Inventory for Amazon Web Services. Right now, I am on uh, uh, EC2 instance where Ansible is installed. Otherwise, right now, I am on Ansible Control Node. I do have Ansible documentation which provides step by step instructions for. Uh, setting up dynamic inventory let's click on uh, inventory script example for uh, ec2 which is aws now uh, let's download this python script i click copy link address let's download that the next step let's download uh, ec2.ini file Right click, copy link address. Okay, we got ec2.py and ec2.ina file. Let's move those files into the right directory. After downloading, the next step is. Uh, uh, I want to move these two files into etc Ansible folder. So I want to name it as a hosts file. Then make sure this script has uh, execute permissions execute permissions and also uh, put ec2.ini file in the same location All right, and the next step is uh, we need IM role for our Ansible control node so that the script we're gonna run on this machine will get permissions to interact with our uh, AWS account. So go to IM. create role I want to use this role for EC2 instance so I want to set administrator access review
So I'm setting up this role for uh, demonstrating Ansible dynamic inventory. Create that. Go back to AC2 dashboard. Click on uh, instances. Ansible is installed on this machine, Ansible control node, because I'm going to run uh, Ansible commands from this machine. So obviously I need to set IAM role for this machine. One option is setting up IAM role. And let's say you are doing this on a on-premise machine. We can't attach IAM role. In such cases, go to IAM, create a user with programmatic access. You'll get access keys and secret keys. Use that on your uh, on-premise machine and so that your, your Python script gets permissions to interact with AWS account. Okay, go ahead. Uh, security, modify IAM role. So, yes, Ansible dynamic inventory, save it. We are all set. Now let's go ahead and execute our uh, Ansible command. I want to run Ansible all hyphen hyphen list, which provides uh, the information about dynamic inventory. But we got some exception. It's looking for Python module that is Boto. So we have to install Boto module. Then go back and run Ansible all hyphen hyphen list. It took some time. What it did was it connected to AWS account and it was searching for running EC2 instances in uh, every region so because by default it points to all the regions it could take a lot of time to come back with a response we can customize our dynamic inventory stuff with help of uh, ec2.ini file let's open that file See, regions pointing to all. If I want to mention a specific region or specific regions, I could try this. Region 1, comma, region 2, comma, region 3, and so on. So pointing to all regions will take a lot of time because it has to connect to every region and check for the instances. So I want to point this to only a specific region. I'm pointing to US East one now. The script should run a little faster. See that. Now let's ping our uh, EC2 instances. And for all, hyphen M. Hyphen M stands for module, and the module is ping. It should fail yeah uh, permission denied it's expecting a pem file for our uh, instances that's fine i have kept ansible.pem file in my home location um i mean using which uh, our Ansible can connect to all our uh, instances. Perfect. Let's run some of the command now. Instead of ping, let's say I want to run some ad hoc command. Sorry, I forgot mentioning command module. Now I want to show little more options. I am pointing to the Python script and uh, I am running iPhone iPhone list. So if you observe, it's giving back uh, lots of information. 
uh, these are all groups like built-in groups uh, these three instances are grouped based on the AMI ID and based on the type like EC2 for example uh, I could say like this Ansible EC2 M thing see that so I could use those details as a group name so I could run uh, let's say uh, some ansible commands or playbooks on this region I could use it as a region so in place of EC2 let's say I want to run on this one I mean the region right so that's all guys from this video uh, thanks for watching see you again in next video with some interesting content thank you